people put themselves into this age box before they even give themselves a chance. And it has nothing to do with your age. It, we have to get out of that. It almost exclusively has to do with how you're thinking about things, decades of believing certain things that are really not true, like carbs are bad, carbs aren't bad. But we all grew up believing that, you know, because that's what we were told at the time. I am Susan Niebergall. I am owner of Susan Niebergall Fitness. I am also co-coach in the Site Fitness Inner Circle. I'm 63 years old. I've made every mistake in the book, but I turned it all around in my 50s, and I want you to know that if I can do it, so can you. It's never too late to change anything that you want to change. I remember looking down at my belly one day and going, oh my God, where'd that come from? It's like it happened overnight. It was years in the making. I just I noticed it that one day. And, and I feel like we don't get that. We think that we're, we're doing the same things that we did in our 20s and 30s. We should be able to do that in our 50s and still be able to lose weight and make the progress we want to make. The issue is that as we've gotten older, we have become less active. We're busy working. We're not working out. We're, we're probably losing muscle mass as, as we, time goes on. Um, we're eating on the fly. We're surviving in so, in so much of that time. And little bit by little bit by little bit, we just become super less active. And as we get older, and for women, our hormones start to change, perimenopause, menopause comes, and boom, we have hit the perfect storm of uh-oh, you know? but we have to understand what happened and understand that to fix it, it's a simple fix. It really is simple fix. It's eating less calories than your body needs. It's about strength training two to four times a week. It's about moving your body every single day in some way, shape or form. So that's the secret. It's the same old boring stuff. We just have to be on top of it more. We have to track it more. We have to hold ourselves accountable more because I think that's what we're not doing. But that doesn't mean we can't do it. It just means that we have to be ready to roll up our sleeves and fight, you know? Because that's what it, it's kind of, it's a bit of a battle right now. We have to figure out where we are in, in our life with our bodies and what our goals are and, and proceed accordingly. And when we understand that it's going to be challenging, but not impossible to do, that's where we have to take our mind to, that it is still possible. Believing in ourselves, having a conversation with ourselves and putting forth effort, you know, all of those things put together are gonna work. And so in a bigger view, jujitsu for me has been wonderful because my brain is working overtime in a way it's never had to work before. I've never done anything like this. And I think learning something new and it also took me so far out of my comfort zone, I couldn't even see it. And that is one of the keys for all of us for longevity <laughs> is just learning something new. It doesn't have to be jujitsu. It is for me, but even learn to knit, crochet, something that you don't know how to do and, and get out there and do it. I'm looking at community cooking classes now. I think that would be fun. The whole concept of wellness kind of takes us into um, what I'm really passionate about, and that is longevity. Um, increasing the quality of your life and being around as long as possible. Not, you know, I think people think about that as just being, I wanna live to be 100. Well, that's great, but if you can't do anything the last 20 years of your life, you know, the quality of your life's no good. So I'm all about let's live to 100, but let's make the quality of your life as good as possible for all those years. That's my goal for me, personally. I, I'm gonna live to 100, I guarantee you that. I just wanna be able to do what I'm doing right now in the gym, I wanna do that when I'm approaching 100. And I jokingly tell everybody, we're gonna have a party when we're all 100. We're gonna all lift together in the gym one day. All these 100 year old people are gonna get in there and show everybody else what's going on.